in today's video i am going to explain the poem the wonderful birds composed by mary o'neil so this is how the poem starts never let a thought shrivel and die so the po uh, the poet is she says that we should not allow any idea any thought to shrink to wither to dry out and eventually fade away for want of a way to say it just because we do not have the proper words just because we do not know the proper ways uh, way through which we should express our idea it doesn't mean that our idea or our thought should not be expressed at all for english is a wonderful game so the poet is says that english is a beautiful language and one can play with words and all of you can play it that means those who know the language they can play with the words and express themselves beautifully marvelously all that you do is match the words to the brightest thoughts in your head so in order to express yourself clearly and beautifully remarkably all you need to do is match your words team up your words partner your words to the brightest that is to the most beautiful thoughts and ideas in your head so that they come out clear and true and when you match your words with the brightest thoughts in your head your expressions your ideas will come out clear lucid and true they will appear to be like genuine genuine thoughts and handsomely groomed and fed and it will also look as though your ideas have been designed or they have been um given some kind of style for many of the loveliest things have never yet been said and the writer also believes that the most beautiful of things that human beings can say to one uh, to one another have not yet been expressed words are the food and dress of thought so words are the food they are the apparel and dress of thought any idea or expression any thought any vision can only turn into reality can only be, be expressed through uh through words and so words are the food and dress of thought they give it its body and swing and words give the thought its body and swing energy and everyone's longing today to hear some fresh and beautiful thing and in today's world every single being every single human being wants to hear something new and fresh and relaxing something energizing something inspiring but only words can free a thought from its prison behind your ears and it is only words that can liberate us can that can free our thought the thought the beautiful thoughts that we have in our head from the prison behind your ears that means in our head in our mind those thoughts that we have in our mind can be freed only through expressions only through verbal expressions or written expressions maybe your mind is holding now a marvelous new surprise so it is possible the poet is speaking to her readers and she is saying that it is possible that now your mind is full of some beautiful thoughts and your mind is holding them and not letting those words come out but there is an every possibility that those words will be expressed in the future those words will definitely have their way of coming out spilling themselves out into the open and will inspire somebody or the other with this i come to the end i do hope that you have understood this poem bye